Inside the Magnia Reader box, you'll find a short setup and test procedure guide. There's also a manual with detailed instructions for use and general information about the product. Full contents include the Magnia Reader, power supply, test carrier, calibration keycard and two fixed calibration cartridges, capillary holder, and a USB computer and printer connection cable. On the back of the instrument, you'll find the keycard slot, serial port, USB port, and power connection. On the top of the Magnia Reader, the operating panel, display, and a charging indicator light are located. Before using the reader after storage or transportation, its battery must be connected and recharged. Unscrew the battery hatch, connect the battery, and lastly the power supply. Remove the piece of cardboard protecting the swing board for the test carrier. Save this for later storage or transportation of the Magnia Reader. To smoothly insert the carrier, let the end rest on the edge of the port. The carrier will be at a slight angle. Take out the key card and a test pouch from the Equine SAA test kit. Make sure that the lot number on both calibration key and test pouch match. Insert the calibration key with the label facing up and turn on the Magnia reader. Open the test pouch and insert the test device into the reader. The small arrow at the end of the test should point towards you. The sample well marked with S should remain outside the reader. Use the capillary holder for capillary handling. Collect the serum or plasma using the 3 microliter glass capillary. Make sure it's completely full and that there are no bubbles inside the capillary. Wipe off excess fluid on the outside of the capillary using tissue paper. Place the capillary into a sample dilution buffer vial and mix by flipping the tube at least 30 times. Add three drops of the diluted sample to the sample well marked S on the test device and then immediately press measure on the Magnia reader. The instrument will incubate the test for five minutes before measuring and calculating the outcome. Write down the result. Remove the test strip and check the control line visually. A pink control line in the window area next to the letter C should be visible. If there is no control line, the test result is invalid and should be discarded. Thank you for using Magnia Reader. If you have any questions, please contact us. We will gladly assist you.